Hi, Craft Angels. Vanessa here from Angel Rose Designs. Here we go. YouTube. And today, I'm going to do part one of organizing my bling. This is the bucket now. And we're going to do one after. So, how I'm doing this, I'm going to leave the bucket right here. I have some. Well, I'm going to have to move it to the side for now. I have some of my little pouches that I've cut out some inserts for, okay? And it's just cardstock. And I have the name of each of the bling in here, okay? So, say I want to do this one. I'll take my tape, look for the name, and this one's Recollections. Okay. So I will look. And here we go with recollections right here. Okay. I'll take this out. Put some tape on the back. And I'll pull my tab out, my little insert here. I'm going to use my Pokey tool from Xena the Sassy Crafter on Etsy and on YouTube. So I should have made the word a little bit smaller, but I can fold it around like so. Put it back in. I'm going to take everything out of here including the cardboard packaging, okay? Now these are all embellishments, so so I will know for later. I'm going to put them all in here like so. Okay? I already know this is recollection, so this only has the SKU number on the back. I'll keep this little card in back of my um, insert here. And then I'll take some double sided tape. Like so. Peel that off, and like so, and you have this one done. Now, I'm going to take one that has a few of them together, and I have to search through here, so uh, we have to bling it. I want a few of the same one. So... We're going to have to search through here and see which ones have mul multiples of the same product. Okay. No. No. Okay. Nope. Not that, that either. No. It seems like I have just one of everything. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. Oh, I know. Hang on a minute. It might be in the other box. I think it is. 
but we have all this bling. This bling here is not that company. Not so that company. I'm gonna leave this one out. And this right here is all from Dollar Tree. So I got tons of that. And I have, oh, I have some more bling in here, but they're bigger. Okay. So we're going to put this away, and we're going to get in this one. Okay. So this one's going to take up two pouches. So I'll pull two pouches. Whoops. All right. And I'm going to take this one. It might take more, but we'll see. Because what I'm trying to do is fit them in the little drawer system that I have and have them stand up. I fit them back in the shoe boxes without all the small packages and everything falling everywhere. So we're going to see. We've got all this one in here. Like so. We're going to take our double sided and do this. Pull the backing off and pull this up. Like that. But to me, this is a little bulky. And plus, I forgot to put the name on it. So I'm going to take this. I have to print out the bling sheet again. Because I need it. So I'm going to take a few of these. Let's see how many I have in here. Let's move this out. Two. Four. Six, eight. So we're going to put four in each little um, pouch here so it's not so bulky. Okay. And I only have one of the bling it pictures, uh, pieces. So we're going to take another one. I'm going to put this here. And I have my stickers here. I need another bling. I'm going to add the word it myself, but I have the word bling it in here to go on that one. So we're going to cut this out. Like that. Then we're going to take our scanizers. Oh, let me do this. So, I'm going to add the word it over here. Okay, trim there, there, and straight across. I'm going to fold this backwards, pull this out a bit, like that. Take this, put my double sided. And just do that. Okay. I'm going to do it on both of them. Okay. So we can do both of them at the same time. And put it away. Like so. 
Now we're going to take this one, put it over here, and this one here, I'm going to show y'all. Now we're going to take our double sided again, put that here, like that. So we got that. Let's move all this out. And this one is done. Now for this one here, instead of putting the label that I made, I'm going to go a little bit different. So I'm going to pull this here label out and pull this out a bit and put my double sided on here. Okay, and burnish it. Oops, and we're going to stick this one here. Okay, so now we have that labeled. I need this to go a little bit down and there. We have these two so they're not too bulky to go in the box or the drawer. Okay, so now we're going to do these. And I can use this one too, so see? Save this though, maybe. So I'm going to put my double sided here first on both my tags. Okay, that's one. Here's two. Oh, that one already has it, so skip that. I'm going to get two more little pouches with our inserts. First, we're going to put our tags on. This is one. Push the insert back in. Pull out this one and put this one on. Like so. Now, you want to make them... The package is not too bulky, so I'm going to count what I have here. It's two, four, six, eight. So four in each one. And we got this one done. Again. Double sided. And close it. Stack it. Push this insert back in. Like that. You grab these four. And stick them on in. And I'm going to take this, like that, now remember we have that whole bucket to get done, so we have that so far, now we have this one, and these do, so these are all crafter square. And I don't have a label for them, but I will make one. And this one I think is going to take a little more than just two pouches. Okay, so this one can go in a smaller pouch there. We're going to count all these bigger ones. 
we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So four. This is going to take three pouches, so I need to make three labels for this. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, all of these is going to be four to a pouch. That way, it's better for me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these out a little. And I have made all my labels and put the tape on the back of all of them, but I had to cut them separate because I needed to have it that way. Okay. So then we're going to do pull it out. All the cards are going to have to be pulled out a little bit. I'm going to put bling over here. So now, I'm going to do all of the pouches first. And then we're going to count four or five to a pouch. And then put them in. Okay? So, this is how I do mine. You can do yours with whichever way you want. That's another pouch done. Trust me. There's a lot to be done, so there will be plenty of organizational videos. And in between, I'll have some project videos for you guys. And returning back to my regularly scheduled programming. So we got that one, we got bling here, square, bling, square. Like so. Try to offset them a little to see how it goes. Another one done. But I have to do a few more of them. But I gotta count and see how many more. After I do this one. See, I like to make everything on my computer so I can make the lettering as big as I want it. So this is how I do mine. Um...
square, bling square. I need two more pouches made. But we're going to do this one first and do the next two after. And that way if I decide to change it to another one, I can easily turn it over and use these sides. And then I have four different... Um, you know, panel, panels to use on one little insert. And plus the insert will help it not bend in the drawer or whatever I put it in. So, two more. Here's one. I need a pouch. And an insert. So now I'm going to put these on first before I put them in the pouches so I don't have to pull them back out. Whoops. And then I'm going to go through the pouches and put the double sided tape on the flap so I don't have to do that and then just insert and remove tape backing and then we'll be all set with this part of the bling this one is a dip insert it some of them may be a little bit tight but that's all right Like this one, for instance, is a little tight, but that's okay. We got it in. And we're going to do this one now. Uh oh. Like so. And now I'm going to insert this one in here. Like so. And then all I'm going to do, gather them all together. Like so. One. I'm just using the end of my nail. You can, I usually use my little ruler. There. Okay, we got all that done. I'm gonna put the ruler away. Now I'm gonna take these, lay them like this, count out four, no matter the size, put it in here. Okay, I'm back. So now I'm going to take four, no matter the size. Remember, we're trying to keep them easy to store in the drawers or in clear containers or whatever you store in yours in. So we don't want to make it too, too bulky.
so that's why I do only four to a pouch. And I find the pouches. I'm going to put my link down below. Put the link down below of where I get the pouches from. And these pouches, I tell you, they have done wonders for my organization and all of that. So this one only has three, two, which is okay. I suppose I have enough for six packs. And I'm short for two. Four. Let me see. I probably put one too many. A couple too many in some of them. Four. Let me get the other ones out and double check. Put these in the box over here. One, two, three, four. See, it makes it easy to open up. Four. And you don't have to worry about looking for the little thing either. This one has three. Oh. There's a fourth one for that one. And we have four for each one. There's some missing. Well, we'll find out later. So you see this one, I can take, turn it upside down. I turn it to the back and I'll have one already made up. But I'm going to save it because I have other crafter square bling somewhere. So that's that. So now we're going to put this one to the side. And we'll get the next one, which the next one is the Swarovski Crystals. Those. I know there's more of them. They'll pop out later. So now we're going to go... Oh, told you they would pop out later. So we're going to get our pouch. We may need two. So I got two inserts. And two pouches here. Yes, I have some right underneath my desk there. And this is, uh, what company? EK Success. So, I got one, and I'm hopefully all of them will fit. Let's see, one, this, not that one. This is two. I have four, maybe they'll all fit. I'm gonna put this back in the bucket there. And then I'll finish the rest off camera. 
put them like this. Let's put our sticker. Oh, we got five. Let's see, maybe I can fit them all in one pouch. Maybe not. I may have to make another label. We'll try and see. Get our insert in here. So. Do one, two, remember we're not trying to make it too bulky, so we can put three easy, so that's it, three of them it is, and they're Swarovski crystals, so That's one, and we're going to make a new label for this one, so we're going to leave this one out, but we're going to put the product in, and this will be the last one, the rest I'll finish off camera. And I'm going to show you a before and after of the container and the photos. So, I'll make that out. There. Take this and fold it over. And we have those two. Okay. So, I want to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, and comment. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I upload new content, when I go live, or when I do a premiere. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. And remember, you are everything is made with love in every stitch. See you on the next video. And on the flip side, please be safe, be kind, be caring, be blessed, be crafty, and bye-bye for now.